Hello class, and this is Miss Bess. I'm going to show you a really quick overview of how to use the Moodle group wiki feature we're going to be using for a novel study. So I've created this test wiki, but if you can see here, each of the novels have their own wiki, which you will be logging into when you come to Moodle. You'll also be submitting your reading response organizers, your nonfiction article, and your novel essay here on Moodle. When you click on your wiki name, you're going to get to a page. Either you're going to have to click on create page or the page will already be created for you. And this, this is the main page that you'll need to see. And the buttons at the top are as we call also known as breadcrumbs. You have view, edit, comments, history, map, and files. So view is the view, view, uh, view screen of the wiki. Edit is the button you're going to be using most of the time. This is where you're going to type your wiki responses. So please type your discussion here. Do not delete anyone else's information. We're sharing this document. If you click on this arrow here, you'll see that you can use a lot of the normal editing features that we have. You also have um, bold, italics, bullets, numbers, how to add a hyperlink, and I hope people are now adding hyperlinks, image, and to add a YouTube video or video that you create. When you finish that, you're gonna click on save. You can click on preview, and it'll, you'll sh it'll show what you have just done, but it isn't until you click Save that you see your finished contribution. In order to edit, you go back to Edit, and the next person can now come and... Hi. My name is Swan. I look forward to working with you. And Save. And once again, you see your finished wiki. If you want to put in a comment that's just your own self, you can click on add a comment. Let's arrange to meet in the library at lunch. You'll save that comment and now that comment is here with your name, time, and date stamped. The history allows everyone to see what version of wiki they're working on and who's posted when time and date stamped so number one would be the oldest version and then each each higher number is the most recent version and of course we can also tell by the time map is where you have your pages alphabetized so because we have a welcome page it's under w if i go back to view you can see this is my welcome page. If the group needs to add in or would like to add in, you can add in as many pages as you'd like. You can use this little star button here and it tells you to create a new page, type the new page name, enclosed in double square brackets, for example, page two. So maybe I'm going to put in a page name. Images. I click save. And now you can see here images in red, but it's in red because this page, it doesn't really exist yet. We have to go back here and we have to click on create page. And now we'll have a new editing box to type our new, new information in this page. Let's find some nice images to, to add to the website. Can everyone find two images about the, that relate to the novel? Again, once we save, you're going to be able to see in your history, here it is, version one of this page, view. To get back to your welcome page, now we have images page and welcome page. We go to map, we click on welcome, and here we are back to our welcome page. 
So again, all files is where you can submit, upload files if you'd like. View is what we all see, and as the document gets longer and longer, we'll all see. Remember, do not delete anyone else's information, although you can in the edit view. Edit is where we're actually going to use information and type information. Comments is individual, and history is how many, where everyone, what's everyone done, and map is to go between pages. Hope this, hope this helps, and email me or ask me if you need any help. Bye.